All right, guys. You remember in part one of this build, I was having problems with the decals, as you can see right here. I tried to find decals by themselves. I could not find decals um, by themselves. I actually made a mistake and ordered decals that would fit this model, but it was the wrong scale. So I had those decals, and to send them back is going to cost me more than <laughs> what the decals cost me, so I decided to keep those. Anyhow, to solve this problem, what I did was, since I couldn't find a decal kit, I bought an entirely new kit. Let me move this out of the way for a minute. I bought an entirely new kit. And hopefully, the decals that are in this kit will work a little bit better. Let me see, get rid of that glare. Yeah, there you go. That's better. So... I'm going to open this with you guys right now, and uh, then we'll try the decals to see how they're going to work. Do I have any new blades over there? <clears throat> I am looking for new number 11 blades. All right, let me, uh, let me change the blade in my knife, and uh, we'll be back here in a minute. All right, guys, I uh, just took the cellophane off of this, so I will certify that it is a sealed box. Uh, still don't know if, how old of new stuff this is. So, just open the box up, and everything is in plastic, so that's a good thing. And fuselage. I could always build a second one of these, anyhow. <laughs> and do the other, the other paint scheme. Anyhow, this is what I am interested in. All the decals. Actually, I want the two R's and some of the stars and stripes. I want the Enola Gay, uh, all of our aircraft numbers, and so on and so forth. So, we will take this kit, put it on the side. Maybe if I ever get a little ambition, I will build a second one and use these decals instead. So. Let's see here. Now I have from the old kit the number 82. And so I am going to try and do that one first and see what happens. Let's get one of my squeezy dealer my bobbers. Alright. And let's move the airplane over here. And this number is going to go right back here. So let's see how we're going to do this. I think I told you guys about these little scissors. Um, I have I've had quite a few uh, surgical procedures on my hands uh, for various Dupuytren contractors and trigger finger and carpal tunnel and stuff like that. Oh, I cut that one really short on top of that eight. <laughs> um, anyhow, when they take the sutures out, they're going to throw these scissors away. So I always ask them, can I have them? And they always pretty much give them to me. All right, so we're going to put that in the water right there. And we're going to keep that in there for about 30 seconds or so. Then we have smaller uh, the numbers here, which will go underneath the uh, cockpit. So. All right, in the meanwhile, um, the instructions say it gets another star like this exactly underneath. So we'll do that. Get this one of these stars cut out. Uh huh. Here we go. All right, we'll wait for the other one to get ready, and then we'll pull that off. Now the instructions also say that. It gets a red, insignia red up here in the top. But when I look at the box cover, it doesn't show that red. But I'm going to put the red on there anyhow, uh, just to give it a little bit more uh, personality, I guess you would say. Uh, let's see what else we can cut out. I guess we can cut the two R's out, because that's what I basically want this for. That goes on the uh, vertical uh, stabilizer bar. There's other little decals in there you got to watch out for. Right. 
lots of little little decals right there so I've got to watch out for those I'm trying to cut them around there you go there's one do one for now all right I think that first decal has been in the water long enough uh, let me do something else first get this ready this is a micro set I will use at first I'll put some of that on the body The number goes right after the star. So, let's see how we're doing here. All right. I'll give this a few seconds out here by itself. And let's see. See what I mean? It just broke apart. Check it out. Look at that. Now, I have been doing decals for quite a while, and I've always done it that way. After they're wet, I always put it on my finger and scoot it off of my finger and then pick it up with a tweezer and put it on the model. This did not work. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if it is the decals themselves. The way I'm going to find out right now is to do this guy. If this guy breaks, then I spend $50 for these decals. <laughs> All right. Put this one in. And we'll let him sit. That's got a big groove it's going to have to suck down into, and I hope it works. <laughs> I think this has been in here for more than 30 seconds now, and hopefully, 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 it will work. <laughs> I might have to sh do this off camera, guys. I don't know how long. It was in the water for more than 30 seconds. Doesn't want to move though. I guess we'll put it back in. There you go. I like that one. Come on now. Be nice for the cuz. There you go. Yes. Yes. All right, now. <clears throat> I'm going to let this dry up a little bit, then I'm going to hit it with the microsol so it sucks down into that little groove that's there. But for right now, I'm happy that that one worked. <laughs> so now let's try the number. 
Well, let's cut the other R out first. That'll make my numbers accessible. So total time that that was in the water was probably like almost a minute. Once I get all these decals on, I can go ahead and do the rest of the landing gear and the cockpit windows and all of that stuff. All right, so let's go with this one also. Hopefully, I can get this done. Then we've got the small numbers that are going to go under the cockpit windows. And I don't know what the little stars are for. My little stars are those guys. All right, I don't need those. I just need this one big one. Talking to myself, fellas. <laughs> and then he cut the other R out. <clears throat> you know what? I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tape off of there for right now. Because I think I need to move that R up a little bit further. Accidental. Be back. All right, guys. Um, as you can see, we're uh, getting closer to getting this model finished. Um, I put the landing gear together, just adding the wheels to the, to the struts. I installed the front landing gear and glued it in place because uh, it was movable. Uh, we have one more decal to put on, and that's going to be this guy. And he's going to go right here on this wing. And I could say I got lucky with these decals. They all worked just fine. Also, I found out a little story. The R, i got to watch where I picked this up at. The R on here was before they dropped the bomb. These were after they dropped the bomb. So that was a little interesting little story I found out about these decals and uh, what they represent. So, that being said, let's go ahead and do this decal. Uh, I'm just putting it in the water now. I found that about 35, 40 seconds is good enough and then about 10 seconds by itself and it should slide right off. What happened to me in the last video <laughs> is I knocked this guy over. So what used to be a full bottle is now like right down at the bottom. <laughs> oh well. And another stupid thing. All four of these were built. And I was test fitting him on the plane itself. And because it's slippery, it jumped out of my hand. And I heard it hit like that. And I'd be damned if I could find the stupid thing. I mean, it's just nowhere to be found. And I have on the floor uh, one of those carpet protectors, you know, that the chair rolls on. I just can't find that. I use the flashlight down there. And so luckily I have the other kit that I could put another one of these together. Uh, and I'm sure the other one will turn up at some point. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that's been in the water long enough. Let's see. Oh, not yet. 
So I knew I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong with the decals. I knew that they were just old decals. Uh, and I'm surprised actually that these work because the kit is exactly the same as what I purchased earlier. Uh, by the way, I did paint the guns. The guns are in uh, gun metal, as they suggested, and I used this uh, Tamiya TS-42. Right, let's see. Are you ready now? Are you ready? No, really? Wow. All right. We'll let's see the warm. All right, I'll bring it back when that's uh, when that's ready to go on. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, it just needed a few more seconds in the water. It's, it came right off, and uh, I'm gonna suck up some of the uh, some of the water on here. Try and keep them straight. And while this is upside down, I'm gonna go ahead and install the two uh, wing landing gear, and then. We can flip it over and actually see if the BBs I put in there actually uh, is enough weight or do I have to add more weight or whatever. Uh, but while we're waiting for that to dry, I can go ahead and install the guns, or at least two guns down here on the bottom. They should be dry by now. I did paint them with gunmetal, like I said. All right, let's see. All right. Let's just do a test fit. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. I like that, that's gonna look good. <clears throat> Except I don't think it's all the way down. Where is it? Sorry about that guys. I'm just looking to see if that gun is straight and level and it's not. Now it is. Now it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these two guns on and the landing gear, and then we'll flip it over, and uh, we'll see if it's gonna be sitting on all all the wheels, or do I need to add more weight? So with that being said, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have all the landing gear on, and guess what? I got a tail sitter. <laughs> Now, you guys remember in the last video, in part one, I installed 10 BBs, and they are right about in this area here. And apparently, that's not enough weight. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to build a floor. Let me show you here. I already cut it out. It's very loosely designed on the factory floor. Now, the factory floor goes almost right up at the top. This floor that I'm going to build is going to go underneath, right on top of the landing gear opening. Since the landing gear is always going to be in the down position, I could put this in there and not worry about it and then add more weight on top of that as I need it. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it might be a little frustrating, so I probably will not record it uh, due to... Uh, Maybe some nasty language. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys. Um, I need to add additional weight to this. And as I showed you in the last uh, clip, I, I did install that floor. It didn't go exactly where I wanted it to, but it's in there, so it'll support. Now, this here, these guys right here, is an additional 13 grams of weight that's got to go into this plane. What I'm using here is this Pinewood Derby uh, flexible tape weight. Uh, it's really easy to use. It cuts with a scissor, um, and it's got sticky backs on it. Let me show you what I got. Peel and stick. So, I am going to go ahead and install this, and hopefully the plane will gradually look like that. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll bring it back when I have all of these in here. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. I already tested it. In fact, I think I'm one too many. So we'll see. We'll leave that little guy out for now. I got to do something with this. And just I put this black thing now so you guys be able to see stuff a lot easier. Anyhow, we'll be back in a few. All right, boys and girls. We are 
almost there, 99% there. Watch what I'm talking about. See, if I push down on him like that, he'll come back, he'll come back, but he'll stay there like that only because we need to get a little bit more weight. I cannot get any more weight inside of there. As you can see. Now, I thought about putting some weight inside the engines, but there's no room in there. In fact, one of the kits I'm going to do actually says to put the weight inside the engines. But I did weigh the engines, the propellers, the floor, the canopy, and all that stuff. And that's going to add an additional 3.2 grams to the front of this, uh, this plane. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and finish this all off. And I'm going to bring you back when this plane is 100% complete. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, boys and girls, we are back, and uh, I don't know exactly how to pronounce the name of this company. I don't know if it's Minecraft or Minicraft, because it's M-I-N-I, -I, so I'm assuming that would be Mini. Anyhow, after three months of waiting to finish this model, I finally finished it. And so, without further ado, let me present to you my B-29 Super Fortress Anola Gay. There you go, fellas. And uh, Ralphie seems to like it. He's all happy about it and stuff. But uh, I got this new toy, a uh, motorized turntable. I thought it would be pretty cool. So uh, as you can see, this is the starboard side. I have my R on there. I did paint the red up on the top like I said I was going to do. Uh, decals, front window or cockpit window, and then the nose piece right here. And check this out. Bloop, bloop. It don't want to stay tail sitting. Anyhow, let's continue on here. And I'll uh, move around to the rear. And as you can see down here, I've got the uh, rear glass in there. The big R on there. All right, this is the port side. As you can see, I've got my star and my number here. My R, painted tail wing. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I'm going to switch cameras right now. I don't know if we'll be in frame, but let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. I also added a little bit of exhaust streaking right here. Uh, I'm assuming that these are the exhaust ports, so I put a little bit. It's just black paint that I, uh, that I dry brushed on there. All right, let's continue on. I did break a propeller, so I took a propeller from the other kit. Uh, the front canopy window did not fit. I had to sand it down on the bottom to make it fit inside of all of the cutouts that were in the window. Anyhow, with all that being said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. Captain Cuz 6951 out for now. Alright guys, <clears throat> I forgot to mention one thing. Again, I thought there was a scale discrepancy because both of these models are from the same company. This is a B-25. This is the B-29 that I just finished. So I'm saying to myself, how come there's such a big difference in these sizes? This must be a smaller scale. So I went on the internet and checked out. As I mentioned earlier in my previous video, this guy is 99 feet long. Okay. This guy is 53 feet long. So to me, the scale looks correct. Anyhow, I just wanted to bring that out uh, as a little bit of an uh, insight that I see that I thought maybe might be wrong, but I was wrong. So anyhow, there you go. 
B25, B29, and I will probably be getting a B17 uh, somewhere along the line. With all that being said, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.